All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshipers of all ages, welcome to the second series of the day. Let's take a look at CL versus KSC here as we zone into Sleeping Giant. CL in the green here on the mm. north side, bringing a Grozovoy named Yudachi. That's going to mess me up. Uh, we have uh, our, another Lushun. We're seeing a lot of these. Lily and a Lushun running Dazzle. Double Destroyer there. Uh, five Cruisers for CL. Prince Morris here in a Reload Build Goliath. A little surprised to see that. Peter Pan's Reload and... Uh, yeah, Reload Radar Manitar. Xbox's Klauschwitz. A little Gun Reload. A little Top Grade Gunner. Tamamono's Jinan Range. And a little bit of Torpedo Flavor. And Alley Cat's Moskva. The most expensive ship on the team. Running Unique Upgrade and Top Grade Gunner. Zath, what's KSC fielding? Yep. Uh, over to the south, KSC also has two destroyers. They've got uh, Hatake Hiyoshi in a Lushun with also Dazzle. Uh, I guess uh, they feel like Dazzle works well because of the extra little boost and, um, you know, harder to hit for the first, what, eight seconds, whatever it is. 15, 15 seconds. Um, it got buffed recently. Yes. But if you ask me, it still needs to be buffed a little further to be competitive, but we'll see what happens. Um, Raiden Shogun P, R, P, R, in the Holland with the torpedo build. Um, we've got Unforgivable Wii in a Venezia uh, with um, radio location, so I would expect him to be going all the way out to the one line. King Viper in a Schlieffen. This is our first time seeing a Schlieffen in this tournament. Worth 23 points, but tied in points with the Petropavlovsk. Our first time seeing a Petropavlovsk in this tournament as well. This is uh, Kari Wanatabe's Petro with unique upgrades. So one less charge of every consumable. One in exchange, field, in exchange for really solid AP. Right, and one less radar. Exactly. Um, now, because those ships are so expensive, we see Quicksilver Lash in a... Uh, slash and a Janan with range build and a uh, Yoshino that's its its blitz um, with torpedo stuff, basically. I'm, I'm excited yeah. to see the Yoshino Zath. We talked a little yesterday about how I think Yoshino mm -hmm. is kind of undervalued, perhaps on this in this format, given as good as that those guns are and as good as that ship is. Just because the hull mm -hmm. was a little weak, she doesn't have some of the utility that other. Um, other ships, uh, other uh, other tier ten cruisers do, but I still like her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, I think of this format, she's fine because, frankly, there's there's not as much battleship to worry about, right? Since it's more yes. of a cruiser heavy dominated era, um, and Yoshino's guns are, so, are you know you don't forget about those guns. They are quite. Quite spicy at 310 millimeter. They got really good AP pen when you need it the most against mostly cruisers. So it fits. Now, KSC going for an early push towards mid. Hitaki's loose shoon is going to grab a four le more or less uncontested unless the Moskva radar comes up to push him out, mm -hmm. which Alley Cat's going to be in a position to do that here in a moment. Akari's um, Petro taking some damage, pushing through, taking some HE damage from Xbox's Klauschwitz, pushing through to that channel. You can now see the Janan and the Minotaur on the edge of the map as Quicksilver is going to take some punishment here, making this turn to the south. Yeah, there's the Inky, but it's a little late. He's already got his heal going, knowing he's going to need that. Yep. The lack of utility over here may hurt them a little bit because they're the Janan and the Yoshino are basically meant to try to hold back this push, but it's going to mm -hmm. be tough. They're outnumbered two to one. Yep. Akari is the linchpin for KSC over here. He's got to take advantage of the broadsides on the Minotaur and the Janan, but he's being forced forward partly because of the Klausowicz's shots and I think partly because of the fear of all the torpedoes from two destroyers which none of them are actually landing his way they're really focusing quicksilver here it's the mm -hmm. right play the klauschwitz oh, the klauschwitz dunks him. dunks him from what's the range there 20, 20 just under 19 20 and change 19 yeah. and change just under 20 dunked by klauschwitz ap nice shot from xbox now Fantastic it's a shot there now it's a four on one 
Yeah, and at this point, everybody's just opening up. Blitz is tasting the rainbow, and that will be a done deal. It's going to take him some time, though. It's not going to be quick. Yoshino's got 20 seconds of this heel going. Now, if I'm this, if I'm this Yoshino, uh, I guess what I'm sitting here wondering is if I'm this Yoshino, what do I do? Oh, big hits from the Petro. <laughs> Petro That's Pet what the Petro needs to do. Petro mm -hmm. speaks. Minotaur feels the pain as there's the Yoshino AP coming in from the other angle. Minotaur finally is going to have to go dark back here. Great coordination. Look at these two. Look mm -hmm. at the Janan and the Minotaur it's like swanning around together. Brilliant. Yep. Yep. Mori P coming in. Got him! It does it. Yep. All right. That was just the one butt turret from Blitz. That's a big kill. KSC needed that. Well, and you see KSC has actually rotated around their Lucian and Venezia. Yep. Which makes sense because, hey, two destroyers are here. Oh, that's both their destroyers. What yes. kills destroyers? Venezia. Venezia. <laughs> yep. Well, and and the Lucian over here to spot, perhaps. Now Blitz mm -hmm. is gonna Blitz is about to run out of territory. But I gotta say, if I'm Blitz at this point, I probably go ahead and just turn and let him have all the guns and start murdering these destroyers with my my HE. Yoshido's I mean, HE slaps. Absolutely. Like it'll and crush these got, guys. It's got pretty good side armor, so hey, and yeah. you know what? The superstructure is saturated, so less damage from HE shells. There Here we go. HE. There's a big eight. He's going to feel that. Yep. No, not as big a hit as I was no, expecting. No, no, no. And Blitz is choosing, this, opting to slide along the border. Yeah, I don't like this, that. this border humping is only going to work for a little while. Good players know how to deal with this. Mm hmm. Look at he's, Xbox Series X moving his Clausewitz up. He's got his heel going. Here comes the Venezia salvo. First Venezia salvo coming in on Udachi now. Bam, right through the nose and the mm -hmm. Lushun. And so now the Grozovoy and the Lushun may be having overextended a little bit. Going to have to smoke. Now they don't have any and way to spot the, through this smoke. That's where the Lushun comes in handy. He's got the Hydro. And look at the border of that Hydro. It's getting close. That circle is approaching. Yep. Hydro's on. Is Blitz, gonna, Blitz is not going to live that long. It's taken them a long time to burn down this Udachi. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, burn down this Yoshino. The Yoshino. Yeah, the decision to go on the border there, I think that kind of sealed it for him. I, I agree. Yeah, with you. I, I wouldn't have done it. Seen him turn. Yeah. And just say, all right. He would have been come he would at have, me. He would have been better served to turn and cut back towards the cut back towards the east, I think, and and continue mm -hmm. fighting. All right, Venezia Salvo coming in to try and dunk Lily's Lushun here. Does he land it? Not as big a chunk as he wanted. No. And, Mm, Hataki's Hataki's Lushun is not going to survive this three on one. No, it's I, actually I, four. Klausiewicz is also speaking. <laughs> oh yeah, I liked the I liked bringing the Lushun over there, but it's it's you have to be you have to be cautious with the Lushun, right? It can't take focus fire, and you know that focus fire is going to happen. Yeah, I feel like it was just um, it, it's one of those where you know in their mind they know what they want to happen, they just couldn't execute it. Yep, at the right timing. Down, which happens. Down two ships. KSC's got to make some plays. We're seeing King Vipers Schlieffen charging Ali's Moskva here. Just waiting for the like torpedoes that. to come in. Surprise! There they go. I was like, surprise they haven't already. That Moskva. King Viper paid a good amount of uh, HP for that, though. Akari is also in trouble here as Xbox's Klauschwitz is going to come around the corner. Oh my goodness, they're going to get to Janan right here, Zach. Check it out. Going out. Yep. Bam. Bam. And just like that, Akari possibly able to deal with, going to get the guns around and try to deal with the, the Klauschwitz in his face. We know the torpedo charge is coming. Very, very aggressive play here from CL Zath. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. At the moment, though, because they've held all these caps for so long, KSC has a 250-point lead. Can the Petro survive this torpedo charge or at least trade? Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Not going to trade, that's for sure. Nope. Going out right there. So we've got a Schlieffen that's near dead. 
King Viper has 15 seconds to heal. He's got a couple more heals to go. Yep. And we got a Venezia that, I mean, he's still alive, but teams doesn't have are, Hydro to detect Lushun's deep water torpedo. Teams are really spread all over the board. The Lushun is going to step onto C here in a minute. That's going to allow CL to start closing the gap. KSC is down mm -hmm. a ship. Venezia continuing to engage Klauschwitz here. No, they I can't. Imagine he the can't see the Klauschwitz right now. No, he can't. But the Klauschwitz is rotating guns. Ooh. There's the shot. Brilliant we, we work there. Yeah, we took a blind shot and managed to get a reset and a decent little hit there on Lily. Mm hmm. If you KSC, Zath, how do you try to seal the deal here? How do you do it? Yeah. It's got to be a way. You, you, bring, you, you bring everybody south. You, you forget about the Goliath. There's no point in chasing a Goliath. Well. You go south. You, you hammer whatever's out there. King Viper is about to be detected. There he goes. The King problem Viper. is the Lucian. You got you to gotta turn north now in that Venezia and get within spotting range. But then you're showing broadside to the Clausewitz. So good luck. Well, Venezia already showing that as he fires in the smoke. SAP going in, a little bit of chip damage on the Klauschwitz, nothing exciting. Mm -hmm. Schlieffen now into and a gunfight with the Grozovoy? Man, if you're a destroyer, yeah, why would you accept this fight? To me, I'm curious, too, why King Viper is turning into the Thunderdome. Like, Yeah, Schlieffen's secondaries uh, will absolutely make a mincemeat of most destroyers. I don't know why you would open up, why you would even take the risk. Lily's taking a mm -hmm. big risk right here. It might work, but it might not. Yeah, some chunk damage. Mm -hmm. Viper, I think, is trying to get to cover. I think. Or block LOS or something. Well, technically, they win first. So they I do. They, the idea if, he can just, if he can just live, they'll win in 90 seconds. Venezia Salvo Venezia finally, the Lucian. <laughs> finally dunking Lily there. How many times have you played a competitive event and said, just live and watch as one person dies and then yep. another dies and then suddenly we need a kill and then you can't find it. 60 seconds now. 60 seconds to a KSC win here in game one. And it's going to require Udachi's Grozovoy to step onto A to pull it to stop, to stop the bleeding. And King Viper has no more heals. He doesn't have heals, but what he does have is Hydro. So it's going to be a question of where Udachi steps into the cap because they're bringing the Holland back as well. Yep. Grozovoy's going to have Goliath time. Too. Yep, Grozovoy's going to have time. He's got 30 seconds to get into this cap. He's going to be there in about 8 or 10 here. So going to be able to pull it off. It's a question of where does he go from there? Does he sail deep enough into the cap to stumble into the Schlieff and Hydro? He's about to. When he does, yes. the Venezia will have salvos on him. Right there. There it is. Uh, Congratulations. You've been spotted now, but they've only got they've got 50 seconds to do something about this. KSC stopped at yep. 987 points. If they kill the Grozovoy, they win. If the Grozovoy leaves the cap, they win. Big hits on the Klauschwitz there. King Viper getting those for free. More SAP falling in on Udachi's Grozovoy. Not good enough. 26 mm. seconds now to a CL win in game one. Nope. Viper blows that salvo into the mountain. Can't even get his yep, bow turrets over. One. Nine seventy nine, nine eighty two. They're going to be able to reset Udachi, but they're not. I don't like where the. I, I, I got to say, Zath, part of me doesn't like that the Holland bailed. I feel like they needed oh, yeah. Raiden in mid to m help murder the mm -hmm. Grozovoy, and there it is, man. Well, that was go back to and look at the score. Not one thousand nine eighty seven. Yeah, that's how close this was. Yeah, but it goes back to when you said, "How does KSC bring?" I said, "Bring everybody down." And they and the like, Holland don't, Hol don't screw around. Yeah. KSC well. with a shot, not able to close the deal here, getting all the way to 987, but falling short. That's right. Let's update our scores and stuff. And 
Get back to uh, the tournament. Look at what's going on outside. Put your head up, look around for a bit. <laughs> VOR.